All right, in order for us to help you determine which accessories you may or may not want, first of all, I'm going to describe how each wind restrictor comes standard in the box with every order. Each and every illuminated wind restrictor that we ship will come with a complete step-by-step -step instructions with photos on how to hook your product up to the power source of your choice. The first choice is the headlights. The second choice is the brake lights. In other words, even if you order no accessories at all, the product will come with everything you need to make your product produce illumination from either the headlights or brake lamps. If you decide to use the headlight or running light wire to hook up the illumination, the intensity of the illumination will be at full power anytime your headlights or running lights are on during the evening and will remain that way until you turn them off or turn your car off. If you decide to hook your product up to the brake lamp wire, the product will produce no illumination until you apply pressure to your brake system. Once you let off your brake system, the light will go out. Okay, first we have a simple push button on off switch. You will not need this accessory if you purchase any of the other accessories. All of the other accessories will have an on off option included. This on off switch is only for those of you that want to hook up to the running light or headlight wire and want the ability to turn the product on or off uh, while you're driving. Otherwise, the unit would be on at all times if you did not have any kind of a on-off switch or one of our other accessories. All right, next we have the 12-volt adapter plug, uh, a.k.a. cigarette lighter plug. This is a very simple alternative, basically, to wiring, hard wiring. Um, it will allow you to get the full illumination intensity uh, simply by plugging the product right into your dash or in some cases uh, like the XLR or SLK you'll have a hidden 12 volt plug underneath the dash or in a console. Now as with all of our accessories there will be a simple diagram uh, and instructions on how to hook this accessory up. The dimmer module as well as the extreme lighting kit with remote control can both be powered by the 12 volt plug as a substitute for hard wiring to your vehicle. Battery pack is also a, an alternative to hard wiring to your vehicle. Uh, it does have a built-in on-off switch. With this option, you would be able to run the product as much as you want, even while your car is off. However, you would need to change the batteries out from time to time. Okay, next we have the uh, basic dimmer module. Now, this option can be used in conjunction with the 12-volt plug adapter or you can install this if you utilize power from your running lights or headlights. This option will allow you to control the intensity of the illumination at any given time or you can use it as an on-off switch if you like. And finally we have the extreme lighting kit with remote control. Now this product can be hardwired to your headlights or running lights or you can hook it up with a 12 volt adapter plug to eliminate the hardwiring. You can use either the dimmer module or the brake lamp module along with this accessory. However, if you do use the brake lamp module along with the ELK, you would need to turn the intensity up at least halfway to utilize the full range of colors provided by the extreme lighting kit. This is because the ELK does require a full 12 volts to operate all colors. The extreme lighting kit is very good because you don't need to make up your mind anymore about which color you want. You can use the remote control to set the product at any color you like while you're driving. It also has a fading option on the remote control that allows you to set the product to fade through the multiple colors as you're driving or as your car is parked. It also has a speed button that allows you to uh, choose how fast the colors will fade. It also has a step color option that allows you to basically blink through a different color however quickly you want. And last but not least there is a built-in on-off switch on the remote control that allows you to quickly turn off the product at any given time with just a press of a button. I hope we've done a good job of explaining all of the accessories available for our patent pending wind restrictor. Uh, if you need any further assistance please don't hesitate to give us a call.